thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be discussing the um, capability of doing a hip flexor stretch and spinal rotation on the foam roller. Before you get on your roller, double check to make sure that it's still in perfect shape. You shouldn't have any sort of lumps or divots to it. That could cause a problem later. Um, I recommend the foam rollers by OPTP just because they have a good density and they tend to last longer. But other people make good foam rollers too. Okay, so for the hip flexor stretch, you want to have your roller nearby. We're going to come onto our backs. Heels in line with the sits bone. Go ahead, press into the soles of your feet to lift your hips, and then bring the foam roller under your sacrum or your tailbone. Okay? Play around with it so that you can get comfortable. When we do this stretch, we're working on stretching the front of the hips. We're going to stretch with the hip flex, or we're we're going to start with the hip flexor stretch first, okay? Um, to increase that, you want to make sure the belly button drops toward the spine and don't let the roller push your pelvis into a tilt. Instead, you want to fight against that. Use your abs to help keep that pelvis in neutral or maybe having a slight bit of tilt the opposite direction. Let's go ahead, let's slide the left leg out. And I'm going to anchor through the back of my heel just to make sure the muscles don't disengage and kind of flop the leg to the side. So I've got it in parallel here. I'm connecting the left heel to the mat. Bring the right leg up. Let it come on in towards your chest for a stretch. And if you'd like, the left hand comes across to help the right knee come on in. Hold here and breathe. When you're ready, release the right leg, let that foot come down, bend the left leg, we'll switch sides. So the right leg slides out. Well, let me find the abs first. Really find those abs to help the pelvis stay stable. Then slide the right leg out. I kind of lost it on that first one. So you make sure anytime you feel like you're losing it, come back up, re-engage, then try again. Okay? Then the left leg comes on up. Right hand is going to come across to help that left knee come toward the left shoulder. Release the left knee, set it down, bend the right knee. Now we're going to go into our spinal rotation. Okay, similar setup. You're still with your sacrum on the roller. Abdominals are engaged to help keep that pelvis in neutral. We're going to slide the left leg out, bring the right leg up to tabletop. Now we're going to let the right leg cross over while trying to keep the right shoulder down. Just however far you can go, but this right hip will lift up and you'll, on the left leg, you'll roll toward the outside of the left foot and then let's add a look over the right shoulder. Now from your abdominals, head comes back to center. Rotate back to center. Set the right foot down. Bend the left knee. Find the abdominals. Get set up in your core first. Slide the right leg out. Lift the left leg up to tabletop. Now we're moving this way. Rotating onto the right hip. Keeping that left shoulder down. Looking out over the left shoulder.
and come on back to center and the left foot lowers, the right leg bends, press in through your feet, raise up on your toes, release that lower, and release that roller, lower on down, and make your way up. I hope that you enjoyed this video for a hip flexor stretch and spinal rotation with the foam roller. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, you can find me on Pinterest, Facebook, and at my website, www.custompilatesandyoga.com. Thank you.